In this episode of Air Arms TV, I'm out and about on one of my favorite hunting areas here on the Eastern Cape. But not only will I be hunting, but also taking you through a journey of unseen hunts that either didn't work out or we just didn't have time to finish off for season one here on Air Arms TV. This time on Air Arms TV, I'm out hunting birds on a horse farm on the coastal belt of the Eastern Cape of South Africa. Today I'm not only going to be hunting, but I'll be showing you some never seen before footage of hunts we've done over the last 12 months filming the show. So not only are we going to be hunting today, but you're going to get a chance to see a lot of the unused footage that we got over season one. It was shoots that didn't quite work out the way that we were planning. But enough said, let's get hunting. This horse farm has to be one of my favorite places to hunt. It's just so full of life and it always produces. Oh, there's a dove. He's right on the wire. Let's get a steady rest over here. These doves make for some great eating and they are exactly what I'm looking for. I just know that I can take this one for the pot. Straight down. Man, that was cool. Yes! Switched them straight off. Whoa. I thought he was actually going to stay up there for a while. Good shot. All right, let's go get him. All right, he should be here yeah, somewhere. There he is. You just see his tail sticking out the grass there. Look at that. Oh, awesome. All right. Let's check this out. Yep. Nice little turtle dove. And uh, yeah, next shot. Exactly where I was aiming. Switched them right off exactly how I like to take them. Instant kill, very cool. And they are beautiful little birds as well as really, really good eating in a pie. So that's what we'll be using this one for. But another one in the bag. But before we keep on hunting, the next segment coming up is a dusty hunt that we did in the Fort Beaufort area with a good friend of mine, Nico Els. Now he said there was dussies all over the cliff face. So I said, let's go and help him out. He is a stock farmer. So we got up there to the cliff faces. We looked all around where they normally are and we couldn't see a dussy in sight. He couldn't believe it. They normally full up all over the rock faces. So we looked and we looked and finally we found one lone dussy that was hiding in amongst the trees on a rock sunbathing and we managed to get lucky. I managed to sneak into just the right place to get a good shooting window for the shot. That was cool. Just opened up just enough of a shooting hole. Perfect. Man, that's cool. Let's go get him. I think he went down just over the edge there, so Let's see if we can get him. Oh, what a clown. Woo! I've never worked so hard to retrieve a dusty. And there we go. The only reason why I got this is because it was a headshot. Otherwise, when I looked over that cliff, he was gone. So, shot placement was critical, but uh, nailed it. What a crazy mission all the way up the top of the mountain for one single dusty. But it also reminds me of a hunt that we did in the Northern Cape. Almost as difficult, hunting ground squirrels in the midday heat. It was a whopping 44 degrees out and the ground squirrels were taking cover. But we were lucky enough to spot a couple out there. There's a couple ground squirrels. Just 
just popping the heads up and down. Oh, we just gotta make it to this bush here and then we can get a shot. Okay, come. Ground squirrels are an extremely clever animal. They have exceptional eyesight and a quick reflex to spot and remember danger. Okay. Oh, they're getting fidgety. It's gonna be quick. Yes. Whew, man, he's right out in the open. And no idea we're here. Whew. I'm gonna give it just a little bit of time and see if they pop out in the further holes. Let's go get him first, let's go. Oh, that's nice, eh? Look at that. There we go. Huh, another, another super cool ground squirrel. No, fantastic, man. In about an hour's time, they're gonna be coming out all over the show here. There are just so many of these ground squirrels and you can understand why they're asking us to please come and take down some of the numbers. We're gonna head over the ridge here and there's supposed to be a whole lot more holes there and hopefully we'll find more squirrels. So let's keep on going. There's ground squirrels. There's a lot of them, come, come. beautiful little creatures and the way that they operate and that was the scout and then he poked his head just a little bit above the hole and came out to check and obviously the whole troop is in the den over there and uh, he came out and had a look you can see he's actually just looking at us now that is so cool man but we're definitely not hunting those today so let's move on see if we can find some ground squirrels Meerkats belong to the mongoose family. They are extremely territorial, so there's going to be no ground squirrels here today. I'm going to have to move on. Hey, 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 hey. He's right. It's a nice ground squirrel. Let's go. I'm just going to hug this bush line here. Just there by the white rock, eh? Yes! <laughs> that was awesome, man. He was using his little white rock to pop up and down. I could just see him. Man, that's cool, man. Ah, straight up. Alright, let's go get him. Alright, here's the white rock over here. And here he is. Yo, almost made it back into his hole. Come check us out. Wow, man. that was cool. Yeah, he nearly made it back into his hole, but yeah, it looks like the shot's faithful enough. Starts at the top of the head and comes out at the, at the back, so really good. Straight down, exactly how we want to take them. They seem to be all over this pasture here, so I think we're going to find a lot of these little critters today. So let's keep hunting. It's well into midday now and really warming up. These little critters are a lot like us. If it's too hot out, they'd rather be in the shade where it's safe and stay cool. There seems to be a lot of holes around here, but I think it's the heat of the day that uh, is now getting to us. What they do is they go down into their burrows and they stay there until it starts to cool down again. And then they come out later on in the afternoon to graze. So I think we'll give it a bit of a break Wait till the temperature starts to cool and then hopefully we can get back on them. So let's go. 
By the time the day cooled down, we just didn't have enough time to get back out there and hunting those ground squirrels. All right, well, it's that time of the day. I've got to fill some pellets, regas the rifle, so you can keep on going. But, uh, you know, just to say a little bit about the rifles this season, we started off with the S410 TDR uh, in the Eastern Cape hunting dussies. And uh, it was quite an incredible experience. The rifle performed a lot better actually than I was expecting it to. We managed to get a whole lot of the animals down and we ended with a really successful hunt. And then AOM sent me the Galahad, their first bullpup air rifle. And let me tell you, it felt like the Rolls Royce of the brand it was absolutely fantastic incredibly accurate and we managed to have a, a whole lot of really successful hunts with this rifle and after a couple shows with the Galahad Air Arm said they've got to send me the newly regulated S510 Ultimate Sporter XS and let me tell you this rifle was something special the rifle performed absolutely brilliantly with the new regulator in place it was fantastic and no doubt with the amazing quality of the rifle which ended up winning the Air Rifle of the Year Award. An incredible accolade and feather in the cap for Air Arms. And last but not least, I was so impressed with the S410 TDR, I asked them please to send me the newly regulated S510 TDR. And what an incredible rifle. Light, so handy with the run and gun type of hunting I like to do here in South Africa. Some incredible animals taken with this beautiful rifle. Nevertheless, we are now full up. Magazine is full, it's time to keep hunting, but before we move on, the next segment coming up was a very strange and unique hunt for us. We ended up in this broken down sewer type area, looking to take out some rats that the locals were complaining about. Straight down, let's go get him. There he is, right over there. Check it out. Yo, look at that. Oh, there he is. Another right down. Wow, this place is infested with these rats. I just cannot believe how many there are around. And there's children, dogs, people living in the area. Just absolutely disgusting. Well, I think we're gonna move on around and see if we can find some more. Unfortunately, I just didn't manage to get more that day and I really wanna get back there sometime soon so I can help take care of the problem. But we soon found ourselves back home and in the mood to go hunting once again on our local spot. That's rock pigeon. Just get to that tree. Okay, let's go. These birds haven't seen me yet and I'm in the perfect position to move in a little closer and get a good shot. He's in the tree right here. Okay, it's gonna be quick, eh? Just take him off the shoulder. Straight down. Oh, headshot. That's exactly what I wanted. Let's go check him. All right, let's have a look out. There he is. Right here in the open. How cool is that? Ah, great. Another really nice rock pigeon. And straight headshot. Just what I was looking to do. So he was in the thick stuff. I didn't want to take any chances. And I uh, made sure. Well, what a great day's hunting and what an amazing season that we've had. We've been able to travel throughout South Africa hunting many different species of small game. And we've had such good support online. We want to thank you guys for the way that you've supported us, commented, shared, and just given us a whole lot of backing throughout the season. We've had an awesome time. We're looking forward to season two. Guys, thanks for watching Air Arms. We'll see you next time on Air Arms TV.